So yeah, I found that that bike. There was two of them actually there, and I was kind of tempted to get both of the, the bikes from Ross. Just yeah, it's like, actually really good. It's almost like it's almost like it kind of looks too small actually for like uh, DC multiverse. You know what I'm saying? Like I think for most multiverse, it's gonna kind of be small. I think it matches better with six inch, honestly. I and that's kind of what I did. I I picked. I I'll post this later, but I got a, a kick ass figure when he's all armored up, kick ass too. And I put him on the bike, and that's like a slick look. Yeah, it's kind of a it smaller bike compared to like, like all the bat cycles like that he made, like the comic ones. Yeah, like those ones are big. It's kind of a really small bike. Yeah, so, so it works. It, it it is good, and I think it's also like a good like dial piece. You could have it back, <laughs> just a regular bike, like a garage. You know, it's kind nice. Of yeah, thing. for like eight bucks, I think it was eight bucks, right? It's, yeah, it was eight bucks. Not bad, not bad at all. So, but yeah, no, I that was. Yeah, I went to up? Ross today. What'd you find? Tons of stuff. Everything. So loaded? much stuff that I loaded. So much stuff that I was like, I had to pass something just because <laughs> I was like, it's not worth it. But like, yeah, I'm gonna do um for this Tuesday, I'm gonna do Paul uh Ross Hall. Ross Hall. Oh Ross Hall. Wow, that many. This Tuesday. No, those live suits have been doing good, man. So keep that it's up. All, John, they have they have a bunch of you're not gonna see in the lecture you're gonna check out. But they have McFarlane McFar- McFar- stuff for like four ninety nine, a bunch of McFarlane stuff for four ninety nine. Hey, that's cool. And you'll do those Tuesdays. Yeah, I think I'm always gonna do. I'm gonna try it. Always do it Tuesdays. Yeah, it just it depends. Like, like if I, it depends if like I have stuff to open. Like if I don't, right, then I'll probably just skip it. But that's fine too. Yeah. Now, I, was, I think if you're consistent on this day, that'd be good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back, everybody. All right. All right. All right. Welcome back to the Collecting Brothers. We're talking toys. Welcome to the podcast, and let's jump in. Got some things from NECA. Got some things from McFarlane. I'm excited about the stuff from McFarlane. Also, the, the Metacom Mayfex stuff, say. And also, mention our giveaway that we're doing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're doing a Road to 1,000 subscribers uh, giveaway where we'll be giving away a Mix Mayfield and, not or, and a Vintage Collection uh, Clone Trooper Havoc. Clone Commander Havoc, excuse me. So we'll get, be giving both of those away. All you got to do is just stay tuned for the end of the video. Heart learn how to enter. All right, let's jump into NECA here. Here we have Lily Grusella Munster. This is cool. I'm glad they're finishing up the Rob Zombie Munsters movie team here, right? Because we got the big Frankenstein guy, we got the dad Dracula guy, and now we're getting the wife Lily Grusella. Did you ever watch this movie? I, I never got around to it. Was it good? Uh, I didn't, but my partner, my, my wife, she did. She did watch it. And she said, like, if you like the Munsters, then it's definitely for you. Like it's definitely a movie that you know gets you into the monster movie you feel. But if like you've Freaking never seen Frankenstein's face, <laughs> but if you've never seen the monsters, then it's like it's too niche, right? It's too niche mm-hmm. for you. And so that, what is that? The blue guy from the Muppets. <laughs> but do you, I, I'm not familiar with the actress. Um, do you think that's a good likeness? I, I can't tell. I'm not sure about that. Honestly, like the face is really freaky. That's one thing that I was like, uh, it's like too uh, the smile, the grin, especially on this one. And again, maybe that's it's a good the, thing though. I think, right? It is definitely the monster feel, right? Um, but again, I I don't know the actress. I've never watched this movie, so I don't have an attachment to it or what it's supposed to look like. I'm just like strictly based off of this figure. It's just like it looks very creepy. But again, it looks creepy. Monsters. Yeah, that looks. I, I like that though. It's yeah, good. that's part of the feel there. So, but looks like they, you know, they're scaling pretty good. It, the big Frankenstein guy, he's got the big high top or the platform shoes that he wears, appropriately big. But no, I think it's good that Nick is just finishing out the team there, you know? So that's, that is nice. And there's everything that you're getting with Lily here. You know, it's like a magazine, maybe a VHS faceplate. You know, Nick is doing a faceplate there with, uh, you know, an extra set of hands. So nice. you're into it, you're into it. Pick up. And it that. looks like, I'm pretty sure that's soft goods, right? Like that, like uh, it's like a little fabric. Like going on tool, at the bottom. Yeah, a little tooling, uh, tool fabric there, just really thin. Yeah, 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 for sure. So a little extra there. There's that Lily from NECA. Finish the monsters. All right, let's jump into the big boy here, man. First up, I want to start off by showing everyone that when you, and you did this on the live stream, guys, check out Josh's live streams. He's doing these every Tuesday where he's opening toys, just, you know, any of the mystery boxes that we get or just, you know, orders that we get. But Josh recently got the Ninja Spawn that was signed by Todd. And now I was like, yeah, he's signing all that. Wait, hold on. I can't remember. We weren't sure because to sign a thousand figures and yeah. Todd, 
Todd is like, you know, the head of the company. He's actually signing that. And, and you pulled out the card from the Ninja Spawn. And you showed us that, like, it's actual marker there, right? Like, yeah, like you can see the strokes, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. And it's not like a print. It's not someone doing it for him. And so Todd posts this video about the Spawn Hot Wheels oh, really? car here. And look at that. This is his afternoon, right? This is his day. Yeah, because like, like you mentioned, too, it, this is not the first time or the last time that he's no. going to be doing thousand editions. He does this constantly. Yeah. And, and I don't know. I just was like pleased that when you were streaming that it was that you could tell that we could see the stroke marks that it was his, you know, signature. That's so cool. But here's yeah. just more proof of that. Like he's literally at a desk just with a paint marker. With the lined up. up. Yeah. <laughs> just signing Todd McFarlane, Todd McFarlane, Todd McFarlane. It's not nobody else. These are real authentic signatures from Todd. So I, I, I you mentioned on the stream too that you're you know going to sleeve it because it is an actual Todd signature, man. Yeah. And it, it's not too bad of a price. Like considering. Yeah. Like it was like 25, 25 bucks extra if you would like, cause it was $50. So the figure would be 25. So I'm sure he just charges an extra like 20 or 25 for the signature. Which is pretty comparable to like con prices to get a signature from him. Right. Yeah. That's a, I would even say it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. but, and it's like a service because not everybody has like cons available to them. And so it's yeah. like, it, it's going to go everywhere, you know? Yeah, you can still get his Todd McFarlane signed signature on, on an autograph. So, no, but yeah, I just want to share that little video. It is just Hot Wheels, but he's out he's there. He's dedicated, all. and you have to appreciate him. You have to love him. Todd's the goat, man. He, he's like, he's yeah, dedicated. I have so much more respect for him. Like I already respect him as a as a you know a toy manufacturer, as a comic book artist, and as the six inch freaking pioneer. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah, and still in the game still in the game getting toy of the years right toy of the year mm -hmm. awards so. yeah I, I honestly don't think we would be where we are with six inch figures without todd mcfarland i don't think it would be where it's at yeah i agree todd's always been there um we would have still had the three and three quarter inches figures right <laughs> yeah, exactly <You> know? <laughs> exactly that would have been the dominated yes <laughs> So shout out to Todd there, uh, but really cool. Let's go ahead and get into the reveals that they did here. Here's a Demon Slayer figure. I believe we covered like four of the twelve of the one twelfth scale figures. They, he did say there was nine figures from Demon Slayer or twelve figures that were coming out. Now some of those are going to be the smaller five inch scale figures, and as well as the twelve inch statues that he's going to do. But here's just another the twelve inch skills here. Looks like here we have Shinobu Kocho, and. It's nice to see. Um, I think it's hard to, to like look at it right now just because uh, Figma did just release theirs too as well. Um, it kind of oh, got released really? in that last month. Yeah. Okay. And so it's nice though that he's kind of doing more of the characters because Shinobu yeah. is a yes. prominent character. So it's good enough, I think. <laughs> I think the face is a, a little weird to me. I don't know something about it. The face is what threw me off personally. Yeah. But, and like, I'm not familiar with this character. But from the just like the, the way the eyes are drawn, I'm just like, whoa, like what what is actually I think that? so. I think it's something with the eyes or something there, but it does feel a little bit off. But I think overall the rest of the figure I think looks nice. Yeah, it's definitely in line with that Demon Slayer McFarland style. So mm -hmm. go, we'll see what else they release. Now I'm assuming the, the when they said that we're gonna release, you know, twelve more figures, a lot of that is gonna be different scaled stuff. So it's not just strictly one twelfth figures. So we'll see where the mm -hmm. rest of this line goes for sure. But yeah, there's that Demon Slayer figure. Next up, something that might people might get mad about, but uh, we're do they uh, he renounced a gold label Amazon exclusive three pack here of Clayface, Batman, and Batwoman. Now most people do have the Clayface and Batman rebirth figures but they don't have that bat woman and that that one wouldn't looks great honestly like honestly it looks definitive to me yeah to be honest yeah the, it's got the red <laughs> big hair the k i don't know and so it looks people, definitive people are a little upset that it's getting thrown in into this three pack which i get i get especially if you already do have a clay face which is a just a yeah. massive giant figure which is cool and that rebirth uh batman as well so i, I understand that you know they're, where they're coming from but it is cool to get that Batwoman and <laughs> I don't know I feel like I'm kind of biased but like when like Mar when Hasbro does this I always yell at them and I say you guys are the freaking worst <laughs> when Todd does this I'm like I'm like hey he, hey Todd's gotta eat Todd's gotta eat Todd's gotta eat <laughs> <laughs> I'll defend right. Todd to the end honestly though I have no doubt that Todd will release uh, the Batwoman 
maybe in a slightly different variation or a gold level exclusive some way or form he okay. will release this singly i don't have any doubt he will so i wouldn't right. worry about it too much yeah like it's here but they have it yeah that's mm-hmm. funny do you think that your bias comes from like has we a corporation that has to you that's know, it yeah that's it. investors whereas Todd is literally an independent yeah. still to this day and it, he's it's more of like I'm attached to him because he's he's an actual I have a face to put it to so he's an actual person whereas Hasbro there is no face or person that, that I know so it's like hey Todd's gotta eat but Hasbro it's like who cares about those corporate people right a uh, corporation versus a person <laughs> I get you I get you yeah <laughs> but no yeah this is like cool I, I personally don't have uh, any of these figures so kind of tempting to get a giant old turd and Batwoman. Yeah. Not bad. I will say that Batman, it's just a Batman, yeah. but the, the clay face is a really great mega fig. I did enjoy that one. I agree. I agree. That's like, that's what I'm coming. I'm, I'm on the same page as you like Batwoman. Amazing. Clayface, Great. Batman. Whatever. It's just another. Batman. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. It's nothing like terrible, but there's that three pack that uh, rebirth three pack. Next up, we are getting another uh, two pack. Another one of those packs, multi packs. From an uh, Amazon exclusive gold label here, we have Superman and the Atomic Skull. And this is cool. It almost looks translucent. It has translucent parts, but the paintwork on it kind of makes that translucent flow through the whole figure. Like here's a little little more standard stock photo of it, where it's like that lighter purple. Definitely feels like that uh, translucent is, is, you know, that theme is sticking throughout the whole figure. Glad to see Todd doing more translucent. I hope he gets more comfortable with that because there's definitely a lot of instances where um, he should use it. And so I'm glad to see him kind of doing it finally. I agree. Like we need more translucent visors, specifically that. Mm-hmm. Like, Just role role. So many heroes use like visors, um, blasts. Yeah, blasts and things like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah, true. visors, blasts, any like, effects, you know. Uh, yeah, definitely a little more on that. We get that flame effects. I'm pretty sure we've seen those effects before. Correct. You you have a sharp eye. So that was actually, uh, this is reused from the Azrael and Batman uh, 2 pack. But they, they were flames. actually flames. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's great. You see, throw it in the same old translucent plastic, Atomic Skull versus Superman. And nothing nothing special about the Superman. It's just, you know, just your regular Superman. But I, I will say, though, I like the curl of the hair. I, I feel like it just sits very well there. That's it's a little more. It's a little more pronounced. Yeah, right? and like, I like it's a little it. More pronounced. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, like, I like that Todd does these packs because it lets you tell a full story with the figures. You don't have to go hunting for this or that figure. You get everything in the pack mm-hmm. to tell your story, right? And maybe that's your story that you want to tell, right? And those bases are always like they're basically free because he right. charges retail price for both figures, and then you get a free base. Yeah, uh, it is nice. So, but yeah, there's that uh, Amazon exclusive Superman and Atomic Skull two pack i like it i dig it <clears throat> look at that sculpting too like again is that something that todd always does excel in just the sculpt detailing it almost kind of i'm not even sure but it almost kind of looks like the lex luther body but i'll have to double check i was just gonna say that the the upper armor thing definitely looks familiar yeah I, I i'm not able, sure I i'm not sure though it. yeah i wasn't able to it's just it. such a different color i can't tell yeah yeah <laughs> so it probably is honestly but we don't know you can't it's, tell yeah so it's good yeah. enough let us know in the comments down below if you can figure out where that reuse is coming from. If it is even reuse. Yeah, I don't know. All right. But yeah, that more pronounced curl, it does look nicer. All right. Next up. Ooh, who's this Skeleto? <laughs> now, this, Gordon. Is, this is Chip Gordon as Batman. Now, I didn't know this ever happened, but when I saw it, I got like the uh, Professor X from the Jonathan Hickman, where he's in like that skin tight black suit and the big helmet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Jim Gordon, I guess, turns his, goes as Batman. <laughs> yeah, in the alternate in an alternate universe. This is actually the second edition that Todd has done of Jim Gordon, because we actually previously have already gotten this suit as Jim Gordon already. But this is oh, like, really? a, it's like a, I would say this is like a slender mold that he's using. The previous one was kind of more bulky, bigger. Yeah, it was bigger. Yeah, I do like the holster. I like how that like just kind of breaks up the, the silhouette, the breaks up the black. Um, on yes, it. that is nice. The original one didn't have that one, so that that's definitely a bonus. So that's cool there. But yeah, there's Jim Gordon as Batman. Looks good. Almost reminds me like the signal uh, with that how bright that yellow is. But you get whoa. six hands. Yeah, I was gonna say wow. just six hands there. You know, a grappling gun, a different two heads. You know, not bad, not bad. All right. Yeah, honestly, that's pretty loaded actually for a twenty twenty five dollar figure. Yeah, definitely, especially that hands. Next up. A GameStop exclusive. I haven't seen one of these in a while from McFarlane, but they are doing a Batman and a Bat Raptor. So it's some type of vehicle. I'm not familiar with this Bat Raptor or where it comes from. 
but so it is actually reuse. Um, I have the raptor. It's very large. It's it he, it's meant to be like kind of like in the um, Dark Knight trilogy, the Nolan trilogy, where he like lays down on the bike. Oh, okay. okay. So his whole body kind of fits inside, laying down, and that's how he drives it. And it's like a tricycle, right? So there's one wheel in the front, two wheels in the right. back. Okay. But it is large. It is a very large vehicle. Um, there's a the box shot, and this will retail for fifty dollars. So $50. not bad. Twenty five dollars for that, and like I said, it's a large bike. Right, you're getting a full Batman figure with the bike, not just mm-hmm. the bike. I, ooh, interesting, because he usually just does vehicles by themselves, but this time, again, telling that story, giving you everything you need to tell your story. Exactly, <laughs> and yeah, the previous one was just a black version, and this one's just that dark blue, so... Okay, cool. Yeah, decent enough. We'll upgrade there. This one, I'm excited for. This is this is going to do really well. Um, I, You know, it does kind of bother me that it is a McFarlane toy store exclusive it is what it is but we are getting a joker interrogation set call it and it is currently available pre-order on the McFarlane toys store um you know on their site there but you get that interrogation scene with Batman now Batman doesn't come with him but you do get the joker the table and the chair (laughs) and all those sets of hands of course card but yeah man this this is cool I'm it's very this. cool. It's very cool. And then you can even like take out the cardboard and just use it as the backdrop because it's it's literally right there, right? It's like a right. dial piece for you. Yeah, exactly. And they're even using it in these shots here. <laughs> yeah, no, this is phenomenal. And I love this idea of just making um, more accessories and more things to put on the shelf. I don't mind it and I don't mind paying the extra for it. I hope it continues this. Yeah, 40 bucks there for this dial set. And if you got your Nolan Batman figure, you can get him, of course, posed against him. And mm-hmm. yeah, no, I, this just tells me how deep, and I hope how deep he goes, where he can, we can get these toys here, get these dial pieces to potentially remake a lot of these scenes from the Nolan verse, which of course are just iconic, right? You know, those brought Batman back. And so, I mean, the interrogation scheme, of course, never start with the head. I don't know. I don't think. Something I've noticed is, is he, he's upping up the hands. I feel like pr- I open tons of DC That's multiverse true. figures. And it's usually like An one set, set, if yeah. any, if any, yeah. right? So I think this is a new trend with him. He's like up in the hand count. And maybe that's how like how he can potentially increase the value of the figure without, you know, adding too much cost on his end. It's true. Right? true. That's true. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, six sets of hands here or four sets of hands. Sorry. Excuse me. Mm hmm. Not bad. Yeah, I'm definitely definitely going to pick this up for sure. I'm a sucker for dial pieces, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Hey, so this Got is air. also kind of within the same vein, right? He's like just doing multi-packs, re-release yeah. as gold labels with just repaints of figures that um, you might not have. So this is the uh, McFarlane Toys Spawn, She Spawn, and Cyborg. Oh, Cygor, sorry, not Cygor, Cy- Cygor. Yeah, Cy- Cygor <laughs> he's a yeah. gorilla, he's a gorilla, right? Cygor gorilla, um, yeah. And Cygor, Cygor is a mega fig, so this yes. is going to be um, retailing for $65. So it's actually, okay. it's, just re- it's just retail, because yeah. it's 25 for the uh, for the she spawn and then $40 for a mega fig. Yeah, that's and honestly, that's, I don't think these pictures do it justice. He's huge. Oh, he's massive. He's yeah. a huge figure. He's huge. And this is going to be a um, Amazon exclusive. Okay. Um, but I will say the she spawn looks nice, but it's very similar to the first release. But I actually prefer this green and purple paint, metallic paint job that the other one didn't have. The other one was just mm-hmm. like um, just it was like silver. A, it was just yeah. silver. It was, it was just really silver and black. Plain. Yeah. No, this I, I do love, love this one. The purple. Here. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I and I never dig. got the side gore, So I'm, I'm very <laughs> interested in this. You can pick up this two pack here. To yeah. Finish up that story. No. Yeah, I agree with you. That purple metallic i think it just fits more of that side. with the green you can't hey. those colors those colors let's save a unit one my boy <laughs> no that, also that's a, the reason why it works is because it's a they're analogous colors on the color wheel they're they're yeah, meant that's to work true. that's why that's they always will color work, theory, no color theory. <laughs> yeah all right let's go ahead and finish up there and he's really is a he's doing a good job man i'm, I'm excited to see what he uh, what else he comes out with because he's just i don't know he's just helping the community and I, I understand that people might be upset about that Batwoman thing, but just wait. Like you oh, said, he'll, he'll, he'll release it. Don't worry. Yeah. He'll release a single release. Don't worry. All right. Let's jump over to Black Series here. Just a quick hey. little. Um, yeah. It's nothing new, 
it's just a re-release so this is kind of they just threw this up for order like today i think yeah today this was originally a gamestop exclusive like maybe like three or four years ago oh um, a long time ago but now it's kind of a fan channel exclusive so it's like you can get it at entertainment earth i'm sure okay. amazon will put up pre-order soon it is a much more expensive than it was when it was released right back when these inflation, was released inflation. yeah back when <laughs> this was released these helmets were 80 dollars now it's going to be 105 dollars oh wow but that's just the standard helmet price that they are now so that's true that's it's true. crazy okay. to think about that this was 80 bucks 80 and now it's 105 yeah <laughs> All right, but it's just uh, like a dark trooper. Yep. So it's from the it's uh, actual the the shadow storm trooper from the Star Wars Battlefront video. Oh, that's okay. why it was a GameStop exclusive back in oh, the day. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. All right, not too bad there. Get a second chance at that uh, helmet. Sure. All right, let's jump over to SH Figure Arts. We are getting an Ultra Instinct Goku. Just a Goku, you know, with his silver hair. <laughs> Okay, but, but this is like his final, final form in yeah. Super. And I'm actually really excited to get this because um, there was a, an Ultra Instinct Goku that released like a while back, but I never got it. The only thing is, though, what's the price again on this? I know it's expensive. Uh, I think it it's is, like, I think it's like 80 bucks, right? Yeah, and it is a Tashami Web Shop exclusive. Yeah, this, so, it's a P Bandai. P Bandai. Not, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Not, P, not Tomashi Nations. Excuse me. Yeah, P Bandai exclusive. So. There is a bump in price because of that. So, and and I wasn't sure, but they did like some of the photos had a uh, SH Figure Arts uh, figure SH Figurepedia, so like an encyclopedia of all the SH Figure Arts for Dragon Ball. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure if that actually comes with this figure, which okay, understandable for the price. It does. Like, it does. Okay. Okay. Perfect. It so does. I don't know. If it's 80 to 90 bucks, I think that might be worth it to get a book to like, you know, check off what you do have and what you don't have. I don't know. It's nice. I see that. I see that. You know? Yeah, it's it's hard. I, I saw a lot of people commenting in the comments, like saying um, they wish they would have done two separate releases, right? Like one mm. with no book and one with no with a book. Cause yeah. We're just saying like it's there's not yeah. enough figure for $80 for what it is. Because it is kind right. of a bare bones, just Goku, you know? And honestly, th- that face right there, see right there, go back. That face with that hair looks really bad to me it doesn't look like goku the hair is just not flowing right i don't know that just looks terrible to me could it be the juddingness of the something f- about it but it just okay. is not right it's okay. not what i expect from uh an import, like figure arts yeah no something's okay. off there okay and also i don't like the orange they used i feel like that's the wrong orange to me this almost looks like a orangey yellow like a cad yellow instead of a, the bright orange that i think of when i think of goku mm, yeah. it's a little bit too yellowy i think in the highlights for sure it's coming off as more yellow yeah which means that there it is more on that side mm. if, you, if the highlights i think it should be a darker like orange yeah. it, i mean it does it did change a little bit like it went lighter in super so but it just mm. i think they went it too far a little bit but yeah okay, okay. so yeah again it is an exclusive so if you want it you can go get it me it does come it, with that book though <laughs> it, it does come with that book and I, I, I am interested in that book for sure the, uh, the encyclopedia there the figure pedia excuse me that is cool but yeah now that you're kind of bringing up those head like i am kind of looking at it a little closer like even here it looks a little like, thinner weird right and the hair is just flowing oddly maybe the hair is yeah. like also too like the volume of it is too thin to me also too i feel like goku has a very vol- voluminous head with yeah. hair okay but regardless you get that ultra regardless, instinct. I'm still getting it. Yeah, ultra instinct uh, Goku there. <laughs> regardless, we can you know we can you can critique the figure. Yeah, I critique. Still, it. I'm still gonna get yeah, it. Yeah, but you're still gonna get it. it. Doesn't mean we're not saying don't get it. We're just we're, we're looking yeah. at the figure objectively. Like, yeah, yeah. This, this, for this, the this, price this. and what you're getting exactly. Yeah, yeah. like so we do. Honestly, like that Catwoman we picked up. Like, yeah, it's a Mezco, but it's just because it's a Mezco doesn't mean it's gonna be perfect. Oh, it was a terrible figure. Right. Terrible. You know? <laughs> like you still have to look at things, even if you buy it. Like, yeah. There isn't like any like remorse or regret. It's just that it turned out it was not a great figure. All right. Next up from Monster Start. This thing is sick. It's very cool. So this is they're kind of continuing. This is they've done several kind of um, Monster Hunter figures. So this is from you know yeah. the Monster Hunter video game on the Switch. Yeah. Um, this is the it's called the Tigrex. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, pre-orders are not open yet, so we don't know the price yet. Um, but I'm assuming it's it, usually these monster arts have been triple digits. Um, it's going to open up on September 1st when you can pre-order. 
and it will be due out um, January of next year. Man, this honestly reminds me of a figure that we used to have. I don't know if you remember that orange Velociraptor with the black. Yeah, I do. The really yeah. bright orange and blue. Yeah. Yeah. It reminds me of that. And man, this thing just looks phenomenal. How Honestly, like also from this right here, Otachi. The Neko Otachi. Yes. Yes. You know, I do like, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a nice figure. I would, I think it would go really well with some, uh, some Jaegers. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, and then another great point is that it comes with, um, all, so you go back to those two pictures you just flipped through. There's alternate ports so you can t- attach like folded wings like we see here and then splayed out wings in the next picture. Man, yeah, that's so cool. That's, it's a lot. That's, that's cool. Yeah. That yeah, I definitely I definitely like this figure. Um and I then like I, the T-Rex face too, like the T-Rex. <laughs> it's almost like a Charizard, honestly. That's kind of <laughs> why I like it too. And then it also comes with like a little monster hunter Twitter guy on the last um it's just like a little yeah, to scale. Little, yeah, little scale guy. <laughs> little monster hunter guy. Yeah, at least. So it's the Tigrex, right? Tigrex. Tigrex, yeah. It's like a yeah. tiger and a T-Rex. Looks good. I do like it. I do like it. All right. Let's go ahead and jump over to Meta- Mayfex Medicom. Two things here from them. First up, they are doing a Captain America Winter Soldier cap here. You get a little base and a little, you know, the traditional shield. But it is the World War II outfit that he wore in Winter Soldier, right? When he, he has to go back and go get it. Which I don't know. I'm, I don't know, man. I'm not about this one. I'm. I'm kind of. I feel like it's, it's been done lots of times. And I'm not. Not really excited about this figure. See, I am. I feel like that um, World War II scene in the original Captain America. I feel like this suit is very different from the rest. Whereas I feel like you know, once we got into like Cap two and three and four, did like in the movies, they all mm-hmm. were just like a little bit different. But this one, right. I feel like the overall sculpt of it is very different from the rest. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel like I've seen it so many times. I'm just like, okay. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Captain America. It's red, white, and blue. It's, it's going to be the same, right? It's going to be the same. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. So, But you um, get those different head sculpts there. Unmasked, grimacing, and helmeted, of course. Okay, wait. Uh, go back to those. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, grim- yeah. the grimacing, say it, say it, don't, say it, say it. Don't, it don't look like him, don't you think? It don't. It, it doesn't. Even like the unmasked, I don't see Chris Evans. Chris, yeah, Chris Evans in that face. Me neither. I don't. I, don't. I agree with you, hundred percent. Like maybe in the norm, like the relaxed face, but even that relaxed face, like I feel like the nose is too wide. Wide, and I also think the lips, the line goes too far. Something okay. about the lips is weird. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's it's some, off. It's off. Something's off here for sure. Yeah. But. Yeah, I mean, it is cool that you get a little base in the traditional, like the old classic cap shield instead of yeah. the circular one. You know, so you can do this pose here. Um, not bad there. Um, nothing to complain about. It is Mafex, which is always a dream to play with. I've been playing with my Scarlet Spider from them, and man, just just so happy with those figures. They are imports. They do come in a premium, but you feel it when you're playing with them, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, this is going to retail for $67. Is that how so much it is? Plus okay, shipping, no, where are we getting from? That's not bad. Not bad, yeah. And then, well, honestly, though, it's actually kind of bad. Like, it's 99,000 yen. It's just the dollar still is just, just pounding the yen. It's strong, It's yeah. just continuing to do it. And so it's $67 for us, which is good, but it's 99,000 yen, which from like a year ago, yeah, that's an insane price. Yeah. So we're just lucky. But um, this is going to be due out for next year in June. Yeah, there's that. What they say? That's what they say. Yeah, <laughs> it is Mayfex. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> you know, take that w- with a grain of salt. <laughs> All right, next up, we are going over to the DC to Superman. We are getting the Eradicator. I don't know if you ever watched the Kids in the Halls. It's an old sketch co- Canadian sketch show, but there's a guy who like uh, signs up to play against uh, pickleball people, or not pickleball. I can't remember. Plays just you know one of those rec league games, and he mm-hmm. literally comes with a ski mask on, and then he meets his people that he's going to play against in the league, and he goes, "I am the Eradicator. I will defeat you." It's just like some nerd, you know, <laughs> freaking nerd. But it's it is pretty funny. But I didn't know there was a Superman character called the Eradicator. <laughs> um, but looking at this figure again, it's just that beautiful. I love how Mafex does their joints. They're just so seamless within a figure. And 
they just and, and they get away with it man they do so much good here here's the eradicator you get two different head sculpts translucent visor which looks cool looks cool so good man just really wide that cuts clean and get a little superman sigil on it too so. mm -hmm. one good thing too i think they did is um so this is actually going to be the same price 67 as um the other mayfix figure but hopefully this lines up they're both due out the same month so like for us americans as like we import things mm -hmm. you could if you like both of these mayfix that we've shown you can pre-order them both and then only pay one shipping like because you couldn't get it in Ooh, one box so that is nice i hope they start to do more of that like where they do two releases or two or three releases do on the same month so you don't have to like ship a package from right. japan every freaking month you know <laughs> But yeah, just a, just a clean, you know, uh, skin tight body mold, uh, skin tight suit looks good. And yeah, honestly, I'm sure they're like reusing like probably like the the Cyclops or like uh, something mm -hmm. there, the Batman yeah. something, yeah, something or other, yeah. But it does look good. I think they did a good job on this Eradicator. Honestly, the translucent visor is what's cool. Yeah, that's First, the best part, man. Yeah, that yeah. is the best part right there. All right, but that's gonna go ahead and do it for our show today. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We are doing that 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So let's listen to John tell us all about how to enter it. Today we are announcing our Road to 1,000 subscribers giveaway. In this giveaway, we're going to give away one lucky subscriber, their choice, this figure or this. So we're looking at a Migs Mayfield as well as Art Commander Havoc. All right, and once we have reached our goal of 1,000 subscribers, we will pick a global winner across all of our weekly podcast episodes. So make sure you're commenting down each week for multiple entries into the giveaway. Be sure that you are subscribed to our channel if you haven't already. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our content here. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to show some love and smash that like button. All right, let's head back to the pick of the weeks. All right, what are you thinking, Josh? What's your pick of the week? Let me, let me like, look around. There was a lot. There was a good selection, I think. I feel like there was good. Even though, like, it felt slimmer, there was still, like, solid figures, man. Yeah. Solid uh, choices. Okay. Okay, I know mine. I don't know why, but I'm in love with that purple and green on that Cygore. I'm going to go with okay. that uh, that McFarlane two-pack with the, the She-Spawn and the Cygore. I just love that Cygore. Okay. It looks good. I, I agree. I'm gonna have to agree with you, man. Like the purple just does it. Like it just adds more of that techno feel, you know, for whatever yeah. reason. And cool to get another chance at Saigor. Just a big, big figure, man. The box on that. I remember first time seeing the box on Saigor, and I was like, "Holy crap, that's so big!" Yeah, he's heavy. He's heavy. So yeah, Saigor. Okay, nice choice for me. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna go the Joker interrogation. I knew it. <laughs> I knew that was going to be your pick. It's just cool, you know. Iconic, iconic. Uh, Joker. You get the handcuffs. You get the you get the dial pieces. Come on, man. Let's go. I I'm yeah. I'm here for that. So man, double pick for McFarland. I was about to say that Todd swept. He swept. He swept. <laughs> he cleaned house, man. Yeah, and just mad respect for that guy, dude. He is. If you buy a limited edition signed Todd McFarland figure, you can. Like rest assured that it was actually signed by Todd. He's out mm -hmm. there putting that work in. So thank you, Todd. Maybe one day we'll get to interview you and talk about all the things you do. Hopefully one day. Um, but yeah, all right. So I'll be our show today, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. Leave a comment down below what your pick of the week is. You can enter that giveaway, of course. As always, keep collecting, keep playing. May the action figure gods smile upon you. Peace. <laughs>